Welcome in this overview talking about the data logger solution. I will present you an overview of the different solutions and the different way to collect data from the data logger to a centralization or server. First of all, our solution is mainly based on internet communications. I will present you the three solutions that a data logger can support. But before presenting how a data logger works, let's describe what a data logger is made for. A data logger is designed for water networks. Completely waterproof and with an autonomy up to 10 years, a data logger is able to communicate in difficult environments thanks to high performance 2G, 3G antenna. It will collect information on your network, create archives, calculation of average flows, etc. And every day it wakes up and connects to the internet via the GSM network. When the data logger is connected to internet, depending on the reception configured, the archived and all the data collected will be sent. Well, let's describe the three solutions. The first solution is WebLS. This is our hosting solution. You have user-definable views, data calculations, sending information by email, or sending data to an external computer system. The second solution is PCWin2 the Lacrosse of Health centralization. On PCWin2, you have centralized alarm reporting via SMS or email, automatic calculations such as average flows, balances, formulas, etc. You have curve plotting, graphical mimic diagrams. You also have operating reports in Excel format and also self-configuration based on the parameter of the devices. The third solution is OPC Server. You have the list of all compatible SCADA on our website. Let's see how to configure these different solutions in the configuration of a data logger. If you want to communicate with WebLS, in communication, you have to choose Web Server and then fill with the public APN provided by your operator. WebLS can also be used as a configuration manager but still communicate with a SCADA beside. By using the management account on WebLS, you can upload a new configuration to a data logger. Now, if you want to communicate with two SCADA, it's possible. The SCADA parameter is only for PCWin2 or OPC server. After selecting SCADA, we can fill with the access point name information. And then you have to fill with the fixed public IP address of each router. And finally, if you have a PC window with a PCCOM4 and that you want to send configurations to the data loggers, it is necessary to choose SCADA and configuration. And then fill with the fixed public IP address of the router. But to have a communication possible, you have to create a NAT rule in the router to redirect the 502 port to the IP address of the PCCOM or PC server. Thank you for listening and see you next time in a new video.